Your parentage will determine the battle you fight. I prayed for one man. At the age of 45, he had divorced seven times. The woman just don't want to stay, they don't want to stay there. The last marriage lasted for 24 hours. Came for deliverance, we started praying. All of a sudden, the Lord revealed the secret. Many years back, years back, many years ago, some people were carrying palm wine to the village to pay bread price. His forefather, we let these people carry the palm wine, took the palm wine from them, drank the palm wine that was meant for the bride price, and beat up the people who were taking the bride price to the house of the in laws. And those were now issued a curse that, well, since you have done this, your own son, your children will never marry. And that was the battle that was fight. Your parentage will determine the battle you fight. And some of the hardest battles some people fight in life is a battle accumulated by your parentage. I'm praying for somebody here. Any battle your parents are prepared for you shall die completely in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. We were in Abuja many years back. We had a meeting like this. All of a sudden, as the meeting was going to a close, the Lord gave a word that there is a lady here. You are not married yet. And the reason you are not married is because you are being tormented by a snake. But by the time you get home from this meeting, the snake shall be dead. There was a lady there. At 39, she was still a virgin. She was not married. Nobody was saying, I love you. Nobody has ever said, I love you to her. Even the useless boyfriend of primary school, secondary school, she was, nobody came to her. She was in that meeting. When that word came, she just said a dry, amen. Amen. She got home. This was Abuja. She lived in the center of town, not in the forest. She lived on the fourth floor. When she got home from the prayer meeting and went into her bedroom, she found that something was sleeping on that bed. Her bed sheet was on top of the thing. She was afraid. She wanted to run out to call the neighbors. But something said, Hello, how can you be coming from the prayer meeting of Mountain of Fire? You are afraid. So she tiptoed to the bed and took the bed sheet and whipped it off. Beloved, on that bed was a python with the head on a pillow, but it was dead. It was so big that it was not a question of take away the snake. It was a question of drag away the snake. They had to drag it downstairs. She slept on that bed every night, not knowing that there was a snake that slept there as well. It is heaven that opened her eyes, that killed the snake. And within three months, she was married. She never knew she was married to a serpent. Within three months, she was married. So that was the end of that battle. Every battle assigned to disgrace me. Die! In the name of Jesus, kill that battle. Yes! 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 One man studied gynecology in Canada. He was a very peaceful man, perfect gentleman, but he had a very troublesome wife. The man does not like coming to church. Scientists, they don't like church. <laughs> so they, he doesn't come to church, but the wife was a troublesome woman. So because he wanted peace, that's why he follows his wife to church, like an obedient small boy. So the wife comes to the mountain of fire. The husband follows her just for the sake of peace. But what he would do on the way to church, he would buy all the available newspapers. And then when they sit in church, the woman will be listening to the service. He is reading his uh, newspaper. Since the woman was contented with him just sitting there. But occasionally, what I say gets into his ears. So anytime I said, I saw this. I saw that. This happened. You say, hmm. Here we go again. Your Jew has started with his stories. <laughs> and then I said, I saw that. I saw one woman that did this. Say, hmm. Here we go again. Your Jew has started with his stories. This was what he was doing until something happened one day that cured him forever. He was in his clinic. A heavily pregnant woman walked in and said, Doctor, 
I want to abort this baby. Ah, how old is this baby? Say so over seven months. So, ah, sorry, I can't abort <laughs> a baby over seven months. I'm sorry, I cannot. The doctor now said, well, what is the problem? Why do you want to abort the baby? She said, uh, I, uh, I don't have money. Doctor said, is it money? Okay, don't, no problem. I will give you money. I will pay for you. I will pay your bills. I will pay all the delivery charges. So nothing to worry about. I will give you all the money. So don't say you want to abort, uh, abort the baby anymore. Do must say, thank you, doctor. As she was on the way out, she came back in again. I said, doctor, you have not examined me. So doctor said, okay, get on this, uh, this that bed they lie upon. Get on it. He brought out his scanning machine. He scanned. Then he used his hand to touch the tummy all over the place. Carried out to check. Said the baby is fine. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can go now. And the woman, this woman I said, doctor, doctor, do you know that I have a house inside the water? Uh-uh. house inside water. Say, madam, please, I don't have time. You said <laughs> you said you wanted money for, for your baby, and I said you get the money, so there's no sense in telling me all these stories. Say, doctor, listen to me. I'm telling you that I have a house inside the water. That's where I came from. Doctor said, no, 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 excuse me. Even in Canada, where they are very intelligent, they have not succeeded in putting house inside water. Is it in Nigeria? Yeah. You people are putting house inside water. Lady said, you don't understand. And she walked out. Immediately she left that door, doctor fell down. Right hand that she used to touch the tummy, paralyzed. Left, right leg, paralyzed. Was on the floor. She, he couldn't move. He tried to crawl, to call the nurse. The nurse couldn't hear. Eventually after two hours, somebody came in and found him on the floor. Doctor, what happened? So did you see the woman that came out of a woman? Say, pregnant woman. Say, no, I didn't see anybody. Say, ah, you didn't see a pregnant woman that told me that she had a house inside the water? Say, I didn't see anybody. <laughs> I know some people here may not believe this. All right. That's what happened to doctor. He said, I remember that church where my wife used to drag me to on Sunday. The man who preaches there used to say strange things like this. <laughs> Could you please take me to him? That's what brought him to church. Came on a wheelchair. Said, Doctor, how are you? He said, Fine. What happened? He told me the story. He said, But let me be honest with you. Anytime you speak, I don't believe anything you are saying. He said, But now I can see that there is a problem. Are you ready to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior into your life? Say, how much would that cost me? <laughs> so now sat down, explained to him salvation. He surrendered his life to Jesus. A short prayer. He started using his hand and his leg. Amen. Amen. Since that day. Anytime I said, I saw this. He didn't, he, he didn't used to say, here we go again. Every masquerading enemy, Every masquerading enemy in, my in my surrounding be exposed, be exposed. in the name of Jesus. Command the masquerading enemies to be exposed. Command their masquerade to be shifted away. In the name of Jesus. Some of us have suffered for too long. Agents of darkness have bewitched them. A man was going to England for PhD. And the family gathered together to wish him well. And the whole family, they were praying for him. They were praying for him. When he got to the Matana grandmother. That one said, Bring your hand. And he stretched the hand towards his mama. Mama did what? He spat saliva onto his hand. Say, Rub it, rub it. Rub it in your hand. 
foolishly he rubbed it. Oh no, pelu wa go o fi pawo. Sana, you used to rub your head. Oh yeah, to pawo ri re. He rubbed his head. O si fi pari. That is my own prayer for you. O ni adura te mi ni e fun e. It got to England. O de lu oba and ran mad immediately. O si ya we re lese kese. They brought him home. Won gbe wale no PhD. Like all those agents of bad luck. You must deal with them. All eyes closed. Can you shout this loud and clear? Strong man of bad luck. Trouble my destiny. Death! In the name of Jesus. Aha! Ready? Jesus. Aha! 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 This is not a night to negotiate. We are here for serious business. Serious business. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't negotiate. Open your mouth. Jesus. 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 The power, the power, the apostle power. Jesus is in today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the apostle power is just the same today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Pandikata, Rubaka Pandakaya, Nakandara Boshenta, the Katana Korabo Boshenta Raba, Manakam Pandakaya Bosanta, the Ribosa Pandakaya Boshenta Raba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus, like we do. I was teaching in school many years. One day as I was teaching in class, one madam was shouting outside. Open the compound, kick the nita. Biology teacher, come out, oh. Teacher, biology, ma, bonita, oh. Come out, oh. I want to report one of my daughter to you. Ma, bonita, move up, beg your mommy, open it, oh. Come and listen whether this thing is good. Walk, oh, boy, I'm too much, oh, boy, I'm too much. Come out, biology teacher, oh, come out. Teacher, biology, ma, bo. So I went out. Obajadi. She now called her daughter. Obaku ya more obini. And she said, "Look at this. Oni, look at this. Wo amobini. Say yes. Oni eh. Say sir. Oni alagba. We do respect. Ovi to what oni? Is she not a beautiful girl? She kiti omoto lewa lele. Say yes. Oni be ani. Just look at her. Wo wo. Look at look at the dress. Wo boche mura. Our friends are making up. She's not making up. I want to wear one one touch you touch it. Oh, what she come? Our friends are wearing chains. She's not wearing chains. I want to wear one one so she can check it. Man, oh, what she come come? Our friends are wearing nice clothes. Look at how she's dressed. I want to wear one watch you touch that. Oh, what you want to watch you? Our friends are wearing trousers. Look at how she's dressed. I want to wear one watch you cut it. Oh, what you want to watch? And this is an intelligent girl. Oh my, yo, I call her. She's a bad boy. Our friends are going about with girlfriends, boyfriends. They are giving money to their parents. This one is a poverty in our house. I want to wear one dollar. I want to wear one dollar. Desi or Rebbe na ba ni desi onro mu ava ngo bi won shugbele ni leti wa iselo nko ba won. Say teacher, is this good? Teacher, shele itaba i. Why she didn't know who she was talking to? Commento umba toro ni. And I said, mommy, umba ni ya. Is it good if she got pregnant and you don't know the owner of the pregnancy? She oda to ba lo yu tezi mento fun lo yu. So that one is not good. Yeah, no da. So that one is not so good. Yeah, no, da. I said, she is a child of God. And this is how God wants her to be. She now looked at me and said, ah, You are God. like, I don't want to part of it. She, she hissed at me. 
and turn back. Me and the sister will walk back to class. Walk back to class. When you encounter God, I didn't say when you encounter a, a crusade, a congress, a convention. When you encounter God, when you encounter God, or God encounters you, something must happen. Your life must radically change. It is when God turns your own life upside down. It is then you can go and turn the world upside down. And this is a serious problem. Can you raise up your right hand? No, what? Supply fire! Baba me! Empower me now! In the name of Jesus! Jesus. Open your mouth and declare! In the name of Jesus! My Father! Somebody must raise up his voice tonight. So that the power will come upon you. This is not a night to negotiate. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. You must have had me sharing here in this church before. <laughs> that my friend. We used to preach in the mornings. All over their streets. Not knowing that all the huge doctors there have gathered together to destroy him. I pray that any association gathered just to destroy you shall be scattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. They gathered. They gather to destroy him. All the native doctors in the place. They were to call his face to appear on the face of a drum. And they will stick a knife through it. And he dies. And that's what they were, they were doing. They called him the first time his face did not appear they call him the second time his face did not appear only one more time now they call him the third time his face appeared and as they lifted up their knife to stick into the drum a split second for the knife to hit the drum. The face changed. To the face of the man with the knife. And he could not stop again. He thrust it through. He fell down there. Other native doctors began incantation. They pull off the head of a knife cock. Put the blood in his throat. And yet he did not survive. Because of the law of substitution. Anywhere they call your name into an evil mirror, instead of your face to appear, let the face of the caller appear. In the name of Jesus, let your own rule and thunder.